All right, here we are at the Strong Island. This is a <clears throat> mic check. Here we are at the first ever Strong Island Boxing Podcast with our three young champions in the building. You know, as a matter of fact, Joey, put your headphones on. They're right there. Yep. Nico, over here, put your headphones on. Right there. Dylan, you don't have a pair of headphones, so don't worry about it. But at least they get to hear it for now. Oh. All right, mic check. So here we go. You guys like that? You guys like yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt. All right, all right. So here we are at the first ever Strong Island Boxing Podcast. I'm here. I'm Coach Christian, and I'm going to, you know, question these guys, guide them through this podcast real quick or this little interview we have, and uh, just let them introduce themselves. So to the right, we have, let them know who you are. I'm Nicholas Uresta, the Tornado. That's it? Yeah. Wait, how old are you, Nicholas? <laughs> 11 years old. He's 11 years old, and we call him Nico. Nico in the gym, we call him El Tornado. We'll call, we call him Pitbull because his style is just straightforward. He wants to just take you out. He got good body work, good movement. He's, he's developing very well. Uh, what would you guys say Nicholas's style is? He just charges at you, but like lots of technique, and he works your body and breaks you down. I think I think uh, he always like comes forward. Like he never stops coming forward. Like he always, you know, like he roughs you up. You know, like he attacks every single time. And it's very hard to like spar um against him because like he has a very like difficult style. So it's like difficult and a bit awkward, but it works for him, and it's very hard to fight against. So yeah. awesome! I love it, man. I love the compliments. You know, we're building a nice team here. So. Uh, now let's introduce the, our middle guy. Tell him who you are. Hello, I'm Dylan Barrios. I'm 13 years old, and I train at Strong Island Boxing Gym. Hell yeah. And, um, what did I ask Nico? What do you guys think his nickname should be? Mm, I don't know. I mean, you called me Kid Caramel, and and uh, you said bad boy. like. I called him Kid Caramel. I thought yeah. it was cool because that's like an old school boxer named Kid Caramel who was really good back in the day. And I haven't heard that in a while. It just reminded me of Kid Caramel. You know, it's Latin. You know, you got that olive skin, that tan skin. So caramel, you know, the candy kind of made sense, right? We'll see. Whatever he wants, it's up to him. But what would you get? What would you guys say Dylan's style is? Tell, start off, Nico. What's his style? Like, he's like very defense and like he he um, misses the shots very good and. Uh, yeah. What would you say, Joey? Uh, similar to mine, but. Like he's in, completely an inside fighter. He mo move like he moves towards you with the jab, and then he works his way to the body. Okay, very sharp too. So as a coach, Dylan's very sharp. He, he doesn't like to waste his punches. He like snaps his punches real quick. Tries to get in. Tries to get out. But he loves to stay inside. He, he'll bang. He'll bang with you and he'll box you. So that's Dylan. Dylan. And how old are you? What's your weight class, Dylan? I f I think of fighting at eighty five. Okay. So. And how old are you again? Oh, 13 years old. 13. All right, cool. And we got fights probably coming up in Philly soon, so we're trying to match you guys up. And introduce yourself all the way to the left. Uh, my name's Joseph Favorito, a.k.a. The Nature Boy. Um, I'm 12 years, uh, 11 years old, turned 12. Uh, I fight at 75. Well, uh, 80. 80 pounds now? Yeah. Uh, he's getting bigger. He's growing up. And uh, tell him what you won last year and this year. Let him know. Uh, last year I won the Metros uh, for the 75-pound division. Uh, this year I won the Ringmasters uh, at 80 pounds. Oh, two division champion. What? Back to back. And what's next? Uh, probably the Metro's coming up and this, these fights in Philly. Right, cool. And whatever else we can find in New York, Connecticut, tri-state area. So if anybody's watching, you guys want to match up my boys, these future young champions, let me know. Hit us up. So, um, all right, so anybody want to say something? Anybody want to talk about anything? Nah, come on, Joe. You, you're full. You come on. You you don't stop talking. Come on. You're the uh, you're the host of the show right now. Go ahead. Lead the way. Who's your favorite boxer, guys? Manny Pacquiao. Okay. Why? Uh, just because he's always been like the good guy. He like Floyd Mayweather's the bad guy. He makes people hate you. He like he makes everyone hate him. Manny Pacquiao is just the good guy. Same same with Loma. Okay, you like Loma too? Yeah, Loma's sharp. Dylan, who's your favorite boxer? I like uh, Roberto Duran. You know, because okay. I think I think he's the best like Latin fighter that I th I think he's the best Latin boxer that that um, ever did history. it. So yeah, yeah, I like him. Also like Loma too. You mm -hmm. know, because he's very sharp. He's very skilled. So 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Two two great fighters. Uh, I love Roberto Duran. Lomachenko is definitely a technician. So those are good choices. And what about you, Nico? Who's your favorite boxer? Mm, I like Mar- Marcos Maizana. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can see. I can see that. He's sharper. He's he's that not, uh, He's not that sharp. He's at, He's he's good though. He's a very a relentless fighter. He's fast. He, he'll get you. He'll rough you up. And that's kind of like that's kind of your style. But I think you're sharper than him actually. To be honest with you. So you're mixing it together. You know, you got a good combination with that. All right, cool. This fight's coming up too, guys. Fight's coming up. Who's go- who's coming up this weekend? We got Ruiz versus um. Uh, um Ortiz. Ortiz, right? Yeah, Ruiz yeah. versus Ortiz. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who's gonna win? Uh, I mean, that's a tough one because Ortiz is very, like, he's actually very good. But yeah. Andy Ruiz, you know, like he has a lot of power. He's very sharp. He's very fast. Mm-hmm. But he be a um, Anthony Joshua, so. I don't know. I think I got Ruiz winning by a unanimous decision. Good call. What about you, Joey? I don't know. I didn't even like hear about this fight until like right now. Wait, you, uh, Luis Ortiz? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know because see, Ortiz lost to Wilder, and that would have that was a fight that he was matched up against, which was would have been a good fight, and he lost that. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking probably Ruiz. Go ahead, Nico. Who do you think is going to win? Ruiz or, or or Ortiz? I think... Do you know who they are? Like, I know who is Andy Ruiz, but I don't know who is Luis. You don't know Luis Ortiz? No. Okay, so that's okay. Um, I think I think, um, I think think Ruiz is going to win. You know, yeah. I think Ortiz is just a little old right now. And from what I saw, he doesn't look in the best shape. Ruiz looks like he's training hard, like he has something to prove. So I think he's going to come out and take it. All right, Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Oh, Ter- Terrence Crawford. I think it's going to be very technical, but, like, it's going to be very like very technical fight, but then after a while, they're going to be throwing bombs at each other, but still have angles. Uh, Spence is going to be working the body, and the only way Crawford's going to win is if he stays away from him and just sticks him with the jab. Okay, good, good assessment, Joey. Nature boy with the assessment. What about you? It's going to be a very tough fight, but, I mean, it's going to be very technical, like he said. It's going to be, a, you know, like they're going to be throwing bombs at each other. But I got Spence winning by split decision, which is going to lead to a rematch. So Ooh. I think oh, that's going to happen. What, that's analysis, too, right? He's talking about the future and what's going to happen. That's great. Great job, Dylan, both of you guys. Nico, who's going to win, Crawford or Spence? I, I think it's Spence. Really? Yeah. Why? I mean, like the only the only fights that I see Spence uh, fighting, he was very good on that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. well, what about Terrence? You you don't think he's good? I mean, yeah, he's good, but I um, I think Errol Spence has a little more. He's a little more better than him. Okay. Okay. Good assessment, Nico. All right. So what's all right? So what's a typical training day for you guys? Uh, walking in, uh, doing three rounds of jump rope, uh, two to three minutes. Then doing uh, three to four rounds of shadow boxing, two to three minutes. Then working the bag, we're just hopping right into sparring. Okay. Yeah. What about every all the extra stuff? Do you do you do other stuff than that too, right? Yeah. What kind of drills do we do? We work cone the mitts. jumps. Go ahead, Dylan. A cone jumps, uh, a punch outs. Sometimes uh, we go outside and you know and uh, hit the sledgehammer. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. do some drills, so. All right, Nico, any, what other drills do we do? Uh, we uh, hit the mats, like today. We mm-hmm. hit uh, in a circle, everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, practice technical work and that. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. good. Oh, how many fights do you have, Nico? I have four fights. Four fights, and, and he's, how long have you been boxing? Um, one year and four months. A year and four months, he has four fights. And if you guys seen Nico when he first came in, he was a little couch potato. He looked like a little p- roly poly <laughs> yeah, potato. <I> did. <laughs> and now he's ripped up. He's he's in great shape and he's super confident. Uh, Dylan, how many fights you have? I have zero fights. That's I right. Have, I have no fights. It's all good. Now, how long have you been fight boxing for? Uh, I came in last year during the summer, so I'd say like you know like a year ago. A year ago, okay. Dylan also had an injury too. He would have already had a fight by now, but he broke his hand and he was out for a few months. But he, we're going to get him a fight before the year's over, a fight or two before the year's over. And uh, if he gets two fights before the next tournament in October, 
we'll get him in the October tournament. Uh, just to, you know, I think he's going to do very well. So I think we're going to have a few fights before the year's over, Dylan. And Joey, how many fights you got? Uh, I have three fights. I'm two and one, and I've been fighting for almost eight years. Eight years. Been doing this for eight years. And if you guys see him, we'll put some clips up. If you go on our Instagram, you see some videos of him hitting the mitts and stuff. Uh, you guys can see his skills. All these kids are very skilled. Uh, definitely, you know, stay tuned and watch for them more in the future. Um, uh, let's talk about let's talk about the pound for pound rankings. Yeah. Yeah, like Tell the them. list. So, what do you think? What do you think about the pound for pound rankings, Dylan? I think the number one. It might be Usyk, cause you know. What? Oh, yeah, you gotta Alexander go. Usyk. You know, we're gonna oh, actually. What are you talking or about? Bud Craf- yeah. Or Bud Crawford. Okay. I think I think Crawford, cause you know a Canelo lost, so. So now I think Crawford is at the top. Maybe. I agree. I have second as I think second should be, uh, um, uh, what's his name? A Minoue. A Naoya. A Minoue. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Asian. Yeah. Guy? And I uh, think third might be Alexander uh, Music. You think Usyk? Yeah. Okay, and I need to ask you why. Cause, uh, he was a uh, undisputed at a cruiserweight now, right? And now he's a uh, unified at at the uh, at the uh, heavyweight uh, division. So. So do you think he beats Fury? I don't know, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. But by now, I think he's like, I think he's number three on the pound for pounds. Okay. My opinion. Top three. Top three, Joey. Uh, number one, I gotta say Ray Robinson. Just. No, no. Oh, like today. Yeah. Oh, today. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say Loma. Okay. Like his skill is just insane. Then I'd probably put Crawford, and I for three I'd either put Spence or Fury. If if Fury keeps fighting, I don't know, but one of those one of those guys is gonna take three. They're both really really good. All right, I like it. And Nico, who do you who do you think? Like in every weight. Yeah. I mean, maybe no. Tank Davis. Numero uno. Yeah. Really, bueno. Okay. Then David Henry. Okay, you like the young guys. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, Ryan Garcia. Um, Who? No, Ryan Garcia, no. <laughs> no, he might. Yo, Mike, he yeah. loves Ryan Garcia. You like Ryan Garcia, right? Yeah, but, like, he just fights with, like, it's not too good for him, you know? Mm-hmm. He fights with nobody. Yeah, yeah. Like, if he wants to be respected, he have to fight, like, with Devin Henry or Tank Davis. Right. For the sake of that respect. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, when you guys make it to the pros after you dominate the amateurs, do you guys want to fight the best? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. I feel like you three are going to be some serious competitors in this boxing world. You're going to make big noise. <laughs> We're going to blow you guys up, too. We're going to give you guys a lot, of, a lot of exposure to make sure everybody knows you guys. All right, what do you guys think of me as a coach? Be honest. You could be honest. I don't care. Very responsible. Like, yeah. there's some coaches out there that just let you get beat up, you fight people twice your weight, and they just beat on you. Very, very responsible coach. Make sure you're fighting people that are in your weight class. Make sure you're safe. It's what you're like. Okay. Anything else? I mean, Joey, come on. Do, am I a skilled? Am yes, I a skilled yes, boxer? Yes. Uh, t- tell me. Am I good with the mitts? What? Tell me. Hey, very good with the mitts. Like uh, before, you guys could probably see the video on Instagram. Uh, th- like very speedy. Like it, you gotta have great hand-eye coordination, even as a coach. Fighters and the coach, they both have to have that. In what way you uh, feel comfortable? Like in what way now? Yeah. Or like in the future, I mean. Mm. Right now. Now, yeah. I think I'm comfortable at 85, but I could go up 90 because I could gain weight very um, easily. So. Okay. I could fight at 85 or 90, but I haven't fought yet, so I want to first fight at um, 85 and then move up to 90 okay. later on. So. Nice. That's what I'm gonna do. Joey. Uh, I don't really want to go past 80, of course. I'm staying at my natural weight. Like, these guys, they said they want to cut weight, stay at their comfortable weights. Um, I'm just going to eat healthy, make sure I'm staying at my natural weight. I don't I don't want to cut weight because, uh, like, it, from what I've heard, it sucks. I've ha- I haven't had to do it yet. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to cut weight. Nico. i just rather stay at my natural weight. All right, Nico, what, what do you feel? I mean, maybe 87, 86. Yeah, yeah, but I want to drop more weight. You, you want to drop? Yeah. 
What what have you been fighting at? What weight class? Um, every fight at ninety. Ninety. Yeah. You still want to get down to eighty five. Eighty five, maybe eighty. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Maybe. Well, you, where 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 are you gonna lose that weight? <laughs> what? Where are you gonna lose that weight? You don't have any more weight to lose. <laughs> Water weight. Water weight. All yeah. Right. That's that's cool. <laughs> what made you start boxing, Nico? Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> like. When I first, like, my dad uh, introduced me to boxing, like, when he was young, he practiced boxing in his country, so uh, my dad, by, like, like, when I start, I start with my dad, and I have, like, one karate uh, boxing glove, and I was, like, doing meds with him with one glove with the hands of my dad, you know, and then he buy like when he saw that I like it more and more, he, he buy like a glove for boxing and like mats. And then I had the, the threads, you know, f because I don't have a boxing bag. So I was hearing the... Um, the refrigerator? Yeah. <laughs> so then I asked my dad if I, because I saw uh, this gym. So I thought it was cool. And I told my dad if I can join to the team you know and he said yeah yeah he said yeah yeah awesome now let me ask you nico what tell them every tell them everybody what country you're from i'm from spain and what how, how old are you when you moved to america seven seven years old so you you're new to america you yeah. on, only been here a few years mm -hmm, four now how what's the difference between spain and america you like spain or america better i think america like this is a country of dreams you know you can like people will kill to be here like i'm very lucky to be here you know that's yeah. a good answer nico good answer beautiful dylan th and thank you nico you did very well very good thank you. dylan what is what what, st what made you start boxing what, what got you into boxing to be honest i don't even remember i th i think i was watching boxing like on youtube right so wait, i really wait, got dylan sit up just sit up I want to see your face on the camera. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, it's okay. Sit up. So, yeah, stay, yeah, stay there. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even remember how I got into boxing. I think I was just watching, like, some fights on YouTube. I think I was watching Canelo something. And then one time, oh, we, uh, we were going to the beach, right? And I saw this a uh, boxing gym. So, so um, I was very um, interested, and I asked my, uh, my parents if I could join the gym. So That's cool. So uh, they said yes, and now I'm here. Now you're here. Now you're nasty, too. <laughs> Boy, it's no yeah. joke. I love it, man. I love that this gym is on, the, on a main road where all you guys can drive by and, get, and just spark a little interest, and you never know what's going to happen. Now look at you three. Um, Joey, what made you start boxing? Um, so when I was four years old, my sister used to do karate and every time she would go to karate, my, there was a boxing gym named Royals right around the corner and my dad would, would, uh, bring me there, um, to watch the fighters fight. Right. And, um, uh, I thought it was cool. And I used to tell, ask my dad, can I go to boxing school? <laughs> and, um, uh, he asked my, uh, he talked to my mom about it, and they let me box, and ever since then I've been boxing. And when did you start? When I was four years old. Four years old. How old are you now? Eleven, uh, turning twelve, right? Mm -hmm. So you've been boxing a long time, you guys. So Nico and Dylan are fairly new. Dylan's been, ar I'm sorry, Joey's been around, but you guys are all very competitive. You guys all sharpen each other up, which is great. You know, not many gyms have kids similar age and weight that can really help each other get better and you guys are lucky to have each other you know yeah. and yeah. it's great you guys are going to grow up together in this and you're going to have, have this bond of winning championships together and you know it's just it's just a great thing um so yeah one more thing <laughs> call them out joey talk talk your talk uh, ryan talk your pulling talk. from ortiz boxing gym i lost to you but i want to rematch <laughs> why though why because uh, I don't want the judges to take offense or anything, but that w I got robbed. Like, I completely won that fight. I, w I want a rematch. I love it, man. I love it. I love the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want to say last words? Uh, I don't even know fighters at my weight class at um, 85. Are uh, you fights in that weight class? I don't even know, man, to be honest with you. Wait, uh, you, uh, you said uh, Jacob uh, Molina, but uh, he's a bantamweight. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't even know. Jacob comes down here and he spars. He comes and spars with us too. Yeah. I think he's coming down this week. So that's my cousin's gym. Heavy hitters, Jay. What's up? What's up, Jacob? We'll see you guys soon. Anything? Any last words, Nico? Um, eighty pounds. I'm coming here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, checking out our first ever episode of the Strong Island Boxing Show with Joey, Dylan, and Nico. And I'm your host, Coach Christian. See you guys next time. Peace.